Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video today. Today it is my Premier League predictions for week 24. Um, so I'm sure it's happened in the FA Cup this previous week had just gone. So as I go through the fixtures, I will be bringing them results in. Um, guys, I want to hear from you. Do you want me to do a big match preview from where, let's say, Man United face of Man City? And I'll talk to that fixture more in detail. Put it down in the comments below. And also put your predictions down in the comments below as well. Um, and also give this video a big crap thumbs up if you enjoy it. Um, but guys you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and let's go. So the first guy I'll talk about. And you can already see it behind me. But I'm going to say it anyway. Is Arsenal versus Cardiff. Um, it's a bit. Um, you know it's a hard thing that's Cardiff said having to go through um, losing their player um, still no actual news yet so just keep that bit of faith uh, I know it's hard but I think we have to for his sake as well as Cardiff um, you know going up against an okay Arsenal side losing to Man United in the FA Cup um, you know is there not Henry the right manager for Arsenal? Uh, also put that down in the comments below as well. I want to hear a lot from you this week. Um, but as far as the result goes, I'm going for a 2-1 Arsenal win. The next one is Fulham versus Brighton. Um, you know, Brighton have had some good times up at Fulham. Um, you know, last time they played it's 2-2, uh, Brighton coming back from two goals down. Um, but uh, Kanye Ranieri, has he really done the job that Fulham fans wanted, uh, that you wanted him to do? Also, put that down in the comments below as well. Um, but as well as the game goes, I'm going to go for a 2-1 Brighton win. The next one is Huddersfield versus Everton. Um, Everton out again playing Millwall, they lost to Millwall in the FA Cup um, you know, is it one of them things with Marco Silva is he yet again the right man for the job and um, the pressure's on Everton now to do ever so well in this table finish and this final run which we are literally just about to enter uh, we're already doing the reverse fixtures so you know, it's getting there um, going up against a new Huddersfield uh, manager David Wagner resigned just literally before the FA Cup um, Huddersfield had a free week anyway but David Wagner's gone Huddersfield on the new manager so that's going to be an interesting game but I'm still going to stick up for the blue side and mercy side and I'm going I'm to say a 2-1 win again for the uh, blue side and mercy side the next one is Wolves versus West Ham. Um, you know, Wolves drawing Shrewsbury, West Ham losing to Wimbledon. Um, not a lot of fans expected that. Um, you know, especially the West Ham fans. And the same for Wolves. I don't think Wolves expected to uh, draw against Shrewsbury. I think probably the Wolves players thought it's going to be an easy ride, but it never works out that way. Trust me. Um, but as far as the game goes, I'm going to go for a one-on scoreline. The next one is Manchester United versus Burnley. Anagar Solskjaer is looking for his ninth win on the bounce. No main night manager have done eight on the bounce. No manager has done seven wins on the bounce. Um, but Solskjaer is looking for nine. How long can he keep this record going? Um, I think he will do it past this week and I'll get on to the score in a minute. Um, but going up against a very low Burnley side, I think Europe really has cost them this season. Um, I don't think they invested enough in the summer window. Um, you know, so this could cost Burnley dearly come the end of the season. Um, but as far as the result goes, I'm going for a 2-0 United win. The next one is Newcastle versus Manchester City. Manchester City do need to keep on wanting to keep the pressure on Liverpool. Um, so, you know, they've got that to contend with. Um, there is a few ways they could still overtake Liverpool. 
and there is possibly one other way but I'll get that if it comes that close to the, the end of the season um, you know Newcastle very low ain't got no money to spend um, you know Rafael Benitez has put his frustrations out on the press um, saying he does want to get players but has he really got the money uh, I know Newcastle protested to get Mike Ashley out but as far as I still know Mike Ashley is still in charge but as well as the result goes, I'm going for a 4 0 Manchester City win. The next one is Bournemouth versus Chelsea. Now, um, Chelsea are doing okay. Uh, Hazard's future's in doubt yet again. Um, William, you know, they've got a few players in doubt how long they're going to stay for. Um, you know, Bournemouth. Having a bounce and bounce in fixtures, they're going up and then they're down, they're going up, they're going down. It is a really bouncy ball of side. But I'm going to stick up for the blue side of London and I'm going to stick up with a 3 0 win. The next one is Southampton versus Crystal Palace. Um, you know, Southampton, low flying Southampton, um, going up against a Palace side that beat Spurs in the FA Cup. Um, you know, is this going to help Palace's uh, confidence? We have to wait and see. But I'm going to stick this down for one all draw. The next one is Liverpool versus Leicester. Um, you know, Liverpool do have to keep on winning to get the pressure on City. But then Leicester has got their own problems as well. Is the Leicester manager exit door ringing yet uh, I think he's at least got to pick up a point maybe three to even think of keeping his job if he don't win this one I can hear a lot of bells start to ring upset but as well as the result goes I'm going for a 2-1 Liverpool win the last one I'm going to try and predict is Spurs versus Watford um, my dark horses of the season I've called them and I probably will do to the end of the season. Um, you know, it is one of them Watford where they go up, they can go down, but I know what they're capable of. Um, Spurs, as I've said in this video, losing to Palace in the Cup. So they ain't really got nothing to focus on now. Champions League. Um, um, but as well as the result goes, I'm going for a one all. Uh, so guys, as I said at the start of the video, would you like to see me do a big match preview for one of these fixtures? One fixture that really, you know, everyone's talking about. I mean, I can look at a few of these fixtures and I know what people are talking about. Put it down in the comments below. Also put your Premier League predictions down below. Put what you'd like to possibly see on my channel down in the comments below as well. I'm all, I'm all interested to what you think, uh, what you would like to see me do. Um, but guys, this is the end of the video. Guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.